Welcome to another edition of Butler's Inventor Playground. In this episode, we're going to look at how to create the spiral slide. This may be one of the most difficult drawings that you do for all of the playground. On our sheet here, I have a 3D view of what the spiral slide will look like. And then I have a sketch view of what we need to draw first. So over here we have the origin. We're going to be drawing this half of a circle. And this is what we're going to use to spiral up on the spiral slide. So let's go and start a new standard IPT. We're going to create a 2D sketch on the XY plane. We are going to first draw a line as a layout line from the origin 20 inches out to the side. So we'll grab a line from the origin 20 inches out to the side. This is very important that you are starting from the origin for this. Next up, we have to draw two circles. One of them is going to have a diameter of 22 inches, and one of them is going to have a diameter of 24 inches. So we can grab the circle tool, select the end of that line. It'll snap and turn green. This one will be 24 inches. Enter. And we'll create another one at the same exact point that is 22 inches. Then I can hit escape to drop my tools. This layout line served its purpose. It put us 20 inches off to the side from the Y axis. We no longer need it, so we're going to click on that and say delete. Next up, we have to draw a line that's going to connect these two at these two quadrants right here. So we'll grab a line tool. If you move close to over here, you're going to notice it snaps to that quadrant. We're going to click once and then move our line over to this quadrant and click again. Just a short little line that connects the two. So quadrant to quadrant. And then we can hit escape to drop our tool. Now that we've actually put a cut line in there and sealed it off, we're going to get rid of the top of our circles. To do that, we're going to use a tool up here in the Modify section called Trim. We click on Trim and move to the top part of the circle. You're going to notice it is dashed on the top. That is what's going to trim away, and we can click on it. And then we can go to the middle circle and click on the top, and we've trimmed it away. Don't worry about these blue lines up here. They're just helpful for the dimensions. They have nothing to do with the part itself, just showing you how big they are. Now that we have our half circle, it's closed off, we are going to finish our sketch. Then again, I'm going to go to the home view. So in here, it's telling us to coil about the y-axis. So let's go do that. Up top by extrude you're going to see a function called coil. If you created this correctly and it is a closed shape, it should automatically select it for you and it's going to turn blue. Next we have to decide what are we going to coil about. We're actually going to coil about the y-axis. Coil about the y-axis. So the best way to find that, over here we're going to drop down the origin menu and we have our planes and our axes. The x-axis goes side to side. We want the y-axis up and down and we're 20 inches away from it. Next, it's telling us to change the coil type to revolution and height. 
The height should be 121 inches and the revolutions are 2.5. So in here we're going to go to coil size. Right now it is set to pitch and revolution. We're going to change that to revolution and height. The height is 121 inches. And right now it's spinning once over 121 inches. So we're going to change the revolution to 2.5. So it'll spin two and a half times rising 121 inches and then we can click OK and there you have it there is our spiral slide pretty fun and pretty cool to finish this off we're gonna go to the inventor I and go to save as as always please make sure you're saving to your H drive I have a folder in my H drive for it, and we should name this Spiral Slide. Awesome. There you have it. Another part completed for the Butler's Inventor Playground. I hope this was helpful.